Dave Moran, Fantasy Farms, uh, why are you doing this? Why the protest at City Hall? So we're here today to try and build some awareness about the situation that's going on with Fantasy Farms Reaper's Haunted Attraction. Um, share our side of the story with everybody. We feel like um, we've been kind of unfairly painted in a certain light and we just want to get that out to everybody and let them know what we're all about. But to get specific, this is not with the ALR or not the mayor, this is what, city engineering that you have an issue with? That's correct. Um, so we did have a lengthy battle, four years with the ALR, um, deeming whether what we were doing on the farm fell underneath the agricultural bracket. Um, they have decided that we are allowed to go ahead, but now suddenly after that battle, the city has stepped in and they've decided that um, we are unable to operate in certain capacities. Uh, at issue seems to be the roof. It's a poly structure. What exactly is it built with and, and you know, you've been using this for so many years, so why now the controversy? That's right. So it's a steel structure encased in poly, a typical greenhouse, um, cool frame in the industry. And it's been operated in, yeah, like you said, for several years. There's many businesses all over Chilliwack, the lower mainland, well, the world that operate out of structures like that, retail garden centers other agritainment areas and we feel like we were singled out and don't understand why. So this is not an attack on ag tourism per se, just a concern with, with fantasy farms, with reapers, with your family business basically. It, it feels a lot like that and um, we're just trying to get our say out there and get some answers on that end as well and continue to work to um, get our business back up and running. All right, Dave, thank you. Thank you.